Good news, everybody. The Level 1 Text KVM, the next generation, is almost ready. I hold in my hand the final prototype of the DisplayPort 1.4. Yes, 8K, 30 hertz, or 4K, 120 hertz, which is what I've been using it on with my Asus XG438Q. This is a dual monitor. Yeah, two monitors, two inputs from two different computers. This is the wrinkle, though. These are only dual port models. So if you just bought a KVM, that's great. I appreciate that. That's awesome. Those are DisplayPort 1.2, but they're also four input. All the level one KVMs are four input. This is the first time that we're doing a, a sort of a large run on two input KVMs. And the reason for that is because I couldn't get the signal to noise ratio that I wanted. I mean, it's, there's a lot of bandwidth driving 4K 120 Hertz, even with display stream compression. DisplayPort 1.4, a lot of bandwidth there. So it's very problematic to have four DisplayPort inputs when you're running it at the ragged edge. I mean, it's fine if you're using it with um, lower spec devices, and it's fine if you load your KVM down with repeaters. So like if you want the whole phantom monitor thing and that kind of thing, but nothing in here introduces any latency because it's just, it's just a, a dumb, silly switch. So this is available for pre-order on store.level1tax. Now we've got the DisplayPort 1.2 models available and those are going to be available for a while because DisplayPort 1.4 is a little bit more expensive. These are also only two port unlike the other ones which are currently on the store that are four port. So four inputs. So this is a two computer dual monitor KVM. So you can run your work machine and your home machine off of one dual monitor setup this would be the KVM to use. It's also USB 3, it's 5 gigabit. It has one USB 3 port at the back, one USB 3 port at the front, and then we've got HID ports. There's one HID port at the front and three HID ports at the back. So this is a pretty good setup based on, on feedback from everybody that was using the level one KVM. I am working on a four port DisplayPort 1.4 KVM, but it is not going to be ready for months and months, maybe not even in 2020. But this is ready pretty much now. I just, the, the current situation we find ourselves in, production's a little challenging-ish. But I think I can have these ready, 99% sure I can have these ready in about two months. So these will probably start shipping. I would say they'll start shipping for sure in the July 15th to August 1 window thereabouts. So if you pre-order now, first come first serve, and with the very first level one KVMs that we did like two or three years ago, uh, we had a really good track record on delivering on those products on time and competently. And they people still buy them and like them and, and they're okay. They're not perfect KVMs, but they're some of the best ones that you can get out there. So pricing, the dual port, two monitors, two computers, gonna be about $399. The other one, that's a single monitor, but it's still also two ports, two computer inputs. So if you just have one, 120 hertz monitor that you want to switch between uh, or something like that that one is gonna be about 275 so not bad not bad pricing overall but I'm gonna work on that hopefully for the next iteration of this which will be late 2020 or early 2021 it's four port like our other KVMs but I'm also gonna to continue to carry the DisplayPort 1.2 KVMs because DisplayPort 1.2 is decent enough for most people and those KVMs are a bit less expensive than some of the other DisplayPort 1.2 KVMs that are out there. And they generally have better compatibility with gaming peripherals and all that other kind of stuff. So yeah, what have you guys been working on during the quarantine? It's ready. If you want to pre-order, that's great. I would appreciate it. But don't feel compelled to pre-order, but it is going to be first come first serve. I'm probably only going to order about a hundred more than is pre-ordered based on the pre-orders the last time. I do like that it seems like the general price of KVMs has come down a bunch since the uh, original level one KVM. I'm not going to take credit for that, but I do like that that's happened. I feel I feel like the DisplayPort 1.4, there's less impetus for me to make, <laughs> like bring to market a KVM that's not terrible and like work with people and be like, hey, we need a KVM that doesn't suck. Here's the ways that it needs to not suck. And so far, I've been really happy with the DisplayPort 1.4 setup. I've tested Pixio monitors and the Asus XG438Q and pretty much every other monitor that I've reviewed and all the DisplayPort 1.4 monitors I get my hands on. Even uh, enlisted uh, Linus's help to do some monitor testing and it's gone really well overall. So I think it's ready. It is a little bit of a beta product but like I say I'm hoping to produce the four port model late in 2020 but if you want to be an early adopter you can pre-order. 
stored at level1tux.com. The DisplayPort 1.2 models are of course are available basically right now. I've got another batch of them almost ready. They'll, those will be shipping, uh, those will be restocked and shipping in just a couple of weeks. So uh, we had a run, we, <laughs> the thing caused a bunch of corporations to buy a lot of KVMs. So that's nice. Uh, for people that are working at home and that kind of thing. So, uh, but I've got that straightened out. We're we're doing pretty good. Thank you to everybody that's picked up a KVM. Like I say, they're not perfect, but they're pretty good. And uh, uh, yeah, so there you go. Stay with things. All right, signing out, and I'll see you later. Two impressive and ridiculous systems on my desk. This is a Xeon W3175. This is a Threadripper 3970X 32 core. It's just monster, monster systems. Each of these computers has two DisplayPort cables connected to the new Level 1 DisplayPort 1.4 KVM. So if I want to switch between machines, I'm just doing a fresh window setup on this one. But if I want to switch to the other computer, all I got to do is hit the button. Then we get some DisplayPort handshakes, and then the other computer is good to go. So we can, you know, be off to the races and ready to use it. Our PX Prime is 144 hertz. Our wall mount monitor from Korea, not quite as fast, a little slower, but 144 hertz, DisplayPort 1.4, tested 4K, 120 hertz. I love the new level one KVM. Pre-order now, it should ship in about two months, give or take, two months from the beginning of April, let's see, April, May, June, July 15th to August 1, somewhere in there. So a little more than two months.